Hi there, welcome back to Golniza channel. Togolese striker Emmanuel Adebayer has enjoyed success at several of Europe's premier football clubs. Now let's stay with Golniza to look more closely at the former Real Madrid and Arsenal player and learn some intriguing facts about this 38-year-old player. Okay, let's go. Shadrach Adebay Awadi, Emmanuel's father, is from the small village of Ibe in the Odo Odin local government area of Osun State, Nigeria, while Haji Adebayer, Emmanuel's mother, is from the nearby town of Akusa. Sadly, his father passed away in 2005, leaving his mother ill and with a large family. Emmanuel's got three brothers and three sisters. Yabo, one of his sisters, is the one he is closest to. His younger brother's name is Rotimi Adebayer. Lucia Adebayer and Maggie Adebayer are the remaining two sisters. Peter Adebayer was his deceased brother. Emmanuel Adebayer usually keeps his private life private, and much is not known about his wife named Charity Adebayer. He only attends high-profile events, mostly in Europe with her. The couple have a daughter, whom they named Kendra Adebayer. She was born in June 2010. Emmanuel began his football career with the French club Mets before moving on to play for other teams, including the English clubs Arsenal, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur, and Crystal Palace, as well as the teams of Monaco, Real Madrid, Istanbul Basak Sahir, and Kayserispor in Turkey, and Club Olympia in Paraguay. While playing for Arsenal, he was chosen as the African Footballer of the Year for 2008. Later in his career, when he joined Olympia on in 2020, he rose to the position of highest paid player in Paraguay. Adebayer represented Togo at the nation's first and only World Cup appearance to date, the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany. Adebayer left the Togo national team in January 2010 after being one of the players on the bus that came under gunfire while traveling to the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations in Angola. He joined the Togo team once more in 2013 for the African Cup of Nations in South Africa, where he assisted them in reaching the quarterfinals. With 32 goals, he now holds the record for most goals scored in Togo. As of 2023, his net worth is estimated at $45 million, which mainly comes from his football career. Emmanuel loans several properties in Togo and Ghana. In this video, we're gonna show you the one he is living in the capital of Togo. The mansion was purchased several years ago with a price tag of $3 million. It is located in the affluent section of the Loam City with views of the greenery. The house features six comfortable suites with broad, airy ambiences, wardrobes, digital cylinders on the doors, and controlled shades. The recreation area is unique and features a heated pool, a sports court, a gourmet kitchen, a pool, a ballroom, a game room, and a dry sauna. Imported marble floors can be found in the ballroom and public areas. Additionally, the property has a sentry house and security personnel. Emmanuel Adebayer has collected a lot of fancy cars over the years. As of this video, he has owned seven cars in his garage. The first car worth mentioning first is the custom Rolls-Royce Phantom 7, which he bought at $460,000. This is one of the best cars in the world. Rolls-Royce has always prioritized building strong, long-lasting automobiles. The dedication to excellent build quality has resulted in the astonishing statistic that at least 65% of all Rolls-Royce vehicles ever to leave the assembly line are still in use and on the roads today. The second car in his collection is Porsche Cayenne which cost him around $120,000. This SUV is excellent. Thanks to its impressive selection of potent Vault 6 and Vault 8 engines, the Cayenne accelerates like an ignited rocket and handles road curves with the agility of a much smaller SUV. Next, 
Emmanuel loans three cars from Mercedes. One of them is Mercedes-Benz AMG G63, which was worth $160,000. The hand-built engine from AMG can produce 577 HP and a massive 627 pounds of torque. This makes it one of the most powerful SUVs money can buy. And the last one, also the cheapest one in his garage, Chrysler 300, which was bought at $50,000. The 300 offers a roomy cabin with comfortable seats, a simple entertainment system, and a big trunk. Most of the time, it is quiet and comfortable to drive, and a variety of powerful Vault 6 and Vault 8 engines are available. In the past, the striker was given the nickname Baby Canoe due to his resemblance to former Arsenal star Non Kokanu, whom Ada Bayer had idolized as a youth. The former Arsenal player has had to deal with racist abuse a lot of times in his career, with his goal-scoring exploits often irritating opposition fans who are on occasion resort to the disgusting behavior involving racist chanting and abuse. The Togo Lee striker has his own charitable foundation. This helps to fund infrastructure projects in Africa. His charitable work includes the launch of two water projects in Ghana's twin cities of Ham Isle and Karo, as well as other smaller infrastructure projects in his home country. And that's all for our video today. I hope you find it interesting. If you have any questions and recommendations, leave a comment in the section below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and see you next time